As administrative wing of government, what are you doing deep down in, the, uh, in your level to create that awareness that yes, cancer is there, it's one of the leading causes of death currently in Kenya, but we can prevent it? Thank you. Uh, we would say that as a ministry, we are arrived and uh, up to the task to handle challenges at the community level, mm. at the grassroots agents of change. We are in touch with the community, with the health facilities, with the health providers. I would say that one of the biggest challenges is at the myths and uh, misconceptions about what causes cancer, uh, how it is treated, and uh, how about uh, uh, priority of health in life. Mm. And the people are challenged with uh, so many problems that they don't want to put health as a major important investment. Eh? And I would say that uh, they now relegate uh, matters held to myths, cultures, and beliefs, and misconceptions. Mm -hmm. You'd uh, see that um, one of the challenges we have is that at the, the onset, what causes cancer is a dispute uh, to the common mananchi. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd find what goes in the street is that uh, when you take wheat, it will cause cancer. So they think you are not taking wheat, I'm not under the risk. They also would think that because I'm in a family whereby no one has been uh, tested uh, positive with cancer, then uh, I'm not at a risk, so I will not even go for screening. And uh, when it comes to uh, issues like um, vaccine, like uh, the, the HPV, mm. they would say that this is a Western way of uh, controlling African population. Yeah. So if you go for vaccinations, you go for vaccines, then uh, it is more of a more of a a, a, a family life, a family, a family control. Yes. And you realize that they, 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 they detest it, they ignore it, they think it is not unnecessary. Um, they would also maybe believe what is peddled in the social media. And uh, what goes around is what even uh, they believe is gospel truth. They, they would say that uh, cancer is caused uh, by uh, phones. Uh, if you sleep with your phone, then you are likely to, to get cancer. Yeah. They would say then maybe it is caused by uh, uh, the, it's a disease of the, of the rich. It, because they are uh, eating a lot of uh, meat and uh, uh, red meat and all that, that is what causes cancer. And you would realize that they not actually know what is the cause, how to prevent the interventions, and uh, uh, that you can survive. Mm. Then when you get it, they say it's witchcraft. Uh, and uh, you end up even finding someone that uh, they are consulting uh, very small uh, uh, pastors at the back street uh, for prayers and they don't get uh, assisted they don't go for, 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 for screening they don't go for treatment they go for intervention and uh, they also think it is very costly so they ignore it and put it leave it to God and uh, that is one of the challenge but we are bringing in uh, community health volunteers we are bringing uh, public health officers, community health uh, officers who will be able to educate the community to bring them on board so they can understand they need to go for screening. We have a head event yes. with the Kenyatta University Treating Hospital, Kutri, at um, our area. They would, uh, do regular breast cancer and other uh, cancer screening. And uh, we've seen community interested now going for screening, including men yes. who uh, didn't believe that they can get breast cancer. They now go for screening. Uh, they didn't believe that uh, a man can get ill. They would only go to hospital when they are highly invalid. So uh, we think change, and um, with uh, various level one, two, three hospitals at our area, we see a change.